Proof next that no good deed goes unpunished. A girl in Grand Junction shaved her head to show solidarity for a friend fighting cancer. Nine News reporter Maya Rodriguez is along to explain what happened next. Maya? Well, Kyle, it turns out that head shaving violates the school's dress code policy. But what started as a very simple gesture is turning into a battle over whether hair matters in school. Two girls on the playground, sharing fun in the sun and sporting matching bald heads. I felt like the right thing to do. With her parents' permission, Cameron Renfro shaved her head for her best friend, 11 year old Delaney Clements, who lost her hair because she is undergoing chemotherapy in her fight against neuroblastoma, a childhood cancer. Delaney loved what her friend did. It made me feel very special and that I'm not alone. But when Cameron tried to go back to school at Caprock Academy in Grand Junction this week, she wasn't allowed in. Turns out having a shaved head is a violation of the school's dress code policy. Delaney's mom couldn't believe it. I didn't realize that hair was such an important um, aspect of a child at school. But Caprock Academy says its dress code policy is clear. Shaved heads are not permitted, and the policy is in place to promote uniformity and a non-distracting environment. Delaney and her mom are hoping the school will change its mind and make an exception. It makes me sad because she was really happy to go back to school and show people what she did. But now that she didn't get to, she's kind of sad. For a little girl to be really brave and want to shave her head in support of her friends, I thought that was a huge statement, and it, and it builds character in a child. Now, I just spoke with Cameron's mother. She said that the headmaster talked to her late today and told her that Cameron would be allowed to go to school tomorrow, even though they still stand by their decision concerning that dress code policy. The board of directors will be meeting tomorrow evening to discuss the situation. They say sometimes exceptions can be made to the dress code, but only under extraordinary circumstances. Kyle. Maya Rodriguez reporting. Thank you, Maya.